to clutch that and say no because it, it has happened again any indo what happens most of the time is that these people that um change their properties to student accommodation um or business without telling the municipality remember in 2018 you bought this property for two million and now you were putting in student accommodation that is business to the municipality because you're generating an income and therefore you're charged based on a single dwelling a single family dwelling or you're based on a family kind of a setup so you're not based on there are people that are renting and they are making money out of it so what happened is that they're doing this so that they can catch those people that are not paying in terms of their category so you'll find that you've been paying a rate for two million house in a for a residential property and you're paying let's say you're paying 1.5 every month towards your rates now that they have done the valuation role it's going to change as commercial because remember now you are generating a, a profit out of your property so they will classify it up, up, sorry they will classify it according to the to the zoning categories that they have if it's a student accommodation or if operating a business there in your property or we are so they would classify that you would pay as pay that category and then your 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 your, your municipal rates taxes will go up and you're gonna be paying more and more and more so it is crucially 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 important therefore that you become part and parcel of that process i know we as property owners, we don't pay attention into notices that we receive from municipality, especially these public notices. So it is crucial, important that if that process starts, you get involved because you're going to be paying more. I'll give you an example. There was a property that was interested to buy, I think, in Port Elizabeth for student accommodation. It's a house. It still uses a house. And then the valuation of the municipality, Nelson Mandela Bay municipality, they evaluated the property and then they changed it from residential to commercial. And now that pushed the municipal rates. And now when I was about to, to actually start the process and then the owner was like, oh, they need to, unfortunately, the property has been valued as commercial. So the rate has changed. So therefore, um, the process is no longer being the same as you buying a normal residential because there's going to be something about the vet that you have to pay. Yeah, it was, uh, that is includes, that is going to be included in the price. It was just, and now they're not happy because the municipality, they value their property high. They need, they still negotiate with the municipalities. I said, I don't want to get involved in this. I'm not buying a commercial because that means it's going to make me to pay 3,000 rands on rates. Whereas I still need to put students in this property. And I still have to wait, you know, for people to fill up and then go to the to, to the to the institution and ex and change this whole use. So I was like, I don't think it's worth it. It's worth it. Let me walk away with that. So I don't know if I was able to be clear to everybody, but that is actually 